The Nobel Prize in Chemistry, year 2020, goes to the discovery and development of a gene scissors. The two Nobel Prize laureates are Emmanuel Charpentier and Jennifer Doudna. These two scientists studied the immune system of bacteria against viruses. And then they learned very many details and they used this knowledge to develop these gene scissors. The benefits of these gene scissors is both that we can study uh, cells in humans, plants and animals and we can understand more how the genome functions in these organisms. And the scientists can then learn many things that we can take advantage of. But we can already today also use the technique to change things in plants, for example, that can be very beneficial for uh, the food production. Or there can be changes made in, uh, for example, in human blood cells that can help to cure human diseases. So we have to be careful when we are do changing the genetic code because it could also probably be used for some not so good purposes. And we have to then be careful, we have to discuss the ethical problems and we have to have laws that forbid people and scientists to use the technique in a bad way. And for the genome editing, these laws are actually already there in place. Uh, so it is forbidden to use uh, genome editing on human uh, people in a way that these changes are transmitted to the next generation or to uh, newborn children. Uh, so it's very good that these laws are there already, but we still have to discuss these ethical questions and all the time be aware of that, te that the technique is not by itself good or bad, but it can be used for many good things, but potentially also for bad things.